Welcome to Lecture Online. In order to add and subtract radicals like this, we need to make sure that we simplify each radical such that the number inside the radical and the radical is the same. Otherwise, you can't add and subtract radicals. If we then take a look at these numbers, we can rewrite them as follows. We can say that this is equal to 3 times the square root of, well, let's see here, that's 2 times 54 minus 2 times the square root of 2 times 9 minus 3 times the square root of, uh, let's see here, how about 3 times 16? Next, what we can do is here, this can be written as follows, 3 times the square root of, mm, let's see, 227, okay, I can have 2 times 2, this can be written as 2 times 2, or 4 times 27. So, I multiply this times 2, divide this by 2, we get this, minus 2 times the square root of 2 times 9, minus 3 times the square root of 3 times 16. Now we're ready to simplify this a little bit more. So this can be written as 3 times the square root of 2 squared times 3 squared times 3, minus 2 times the square root of 2 times 3 squared, minus 3 times the square root of 3 times 4 squared. Again, the reason why we like to do that is that whenever we see a square root of something squared, we can take outside the radical. So now this can be simplified to 3 times 2 times 3 times the square root of 3, minus 2 times 3 times the square root of 2, and minus 3 times 4 times the square root of 3. Simplifying that a little bit more by multiplying these together, this gives us 9 times 2, which is 18 times the square root of 3, minus 6 times the square root of 2, and minus 12 times the square root of 3. Now let's combine radicals wherever we can. Notice that these have the same number underneath the radical, so they can be combined, but this one has a square root of 2, which is different, so they cannot be combined. So in this case, we'll combine these two, 18 minus 12, which gives us 6 times the square root of 3, minus what we have left here is 6 times the square root of 2. And of course, you can see you could factor out a 6 from both expressions. So this is equal to 6 times the quantity square root of 3 minus the square root of 2. And that would be the simplest form, whoop, simplest form of our original expression. Again, the goal always is to get the same number underneath the radical so you can combine them. Wherever you have that, you combine those. But if you don't have the same number underneath the radical, of course, that becomes its own term by itself. And that's how we simplify radical expressions.